In this three day challenge, we generated thousand and dollars worth of revenue. That's pretty dang good. Drop shipping, we all know what it is. And lately, your boy has been getting kind of good at it. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. We have all seen the glamorized lifestyle of drop shippers. The Lambos, penthouses. Trust me, I get it, we get it, we know. If you can master it, it is a very, very lucrative job. But the real question is, in today's day and age, is it saturated? Some would argue yes, some would argue no, and so I decided to test this experiment myself. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a zero to $1,000 drop shipping challenge in just 72 hours. Okay, let's go. So today is Monday. I'm going to give myself until Thursday to hit over $1,000 of sales. If by the end of the day on Thursday, your boy does not have over $1,000 of sales, I will shave both of my eyebrows. I'm just kidding. Definitely not doing that, but we're still going to hit $1,000 worth of sales. So just like starting any new drop shipping store, there's a few things we need to do on our list of to do's. The first thing is find a product. Then we need to go build a website. Then we need to get some ads. Then we need to launch the ads. And then we need to go make sales. So in honor of this speed run challenge, your boy has come a little bit prepared. In past videos, I've shown you guys that I've been selling kind of like these sticky bra things. They low-key were a banger. They did really well. For this video, I was scrolling TikTok and I found a different product that's very similar to that, but I think it can do even better. So that is the product that we are going to be testing for this video. I'll throw it up right now. It is... Sticky boobs. Basically what you do is you put those inside like your bra and it's supposed to help overall appearance package. I don't know, I'm not a girl, okay? But I do know that I think it could be a very good winning slash selling product. So that is the product that I'm going to be using slash testing first. Hopefully it hits right away because we don't have a lot of time to swing and miss here. Now I am gonna hop on the computer and we are gonna sauce up a website really quick. Let's hop on this website. <laughs> It is time to go over the website. So the past couple hours, I went absolutely hamburger, got the website all sauced up, and it looks pretty dang good, so we're gonna go over it. So this is Skinversey. As you can see, the theme I am using is the Shrine theme. I'm not paid to say that. I don't even have an affiliate link with them. Their theme is just really good, and I genuinely think it makes a big difference. You can see, this is the main homepage. Didn't really spend too much time on it because no one really ever goes to this page. I spent a majority of the time on my landing page slash product page. So let's check it out. Once we click shop now, you can see this is it. Um, like I told you, the product are those like sticky insert boobs that make your boobs look bigger or better. I don't know. I'm not a girl. No sus vibes here. I think the product is pretty good and it solves a problem. First things first at the top, you'll see the buy one, get one free ends tonight. That is the offer I am running for this store. It is a buy one, get one free. You guys can see for the product photos, it's a very simple product. There's not too many crazy photos you can take of it. So what I did was I put the variant photo in there and then really I just put some before and after photos in the product photos because I think they look really good and I think it kind of fits the whole branded look very well. So those are the photos. If we scroll down, you can see I named it the Viral Ultra Lift Sticky Bra Inserts. I feel like that will hit home a little bit better with people coming from TikTok. It kind of just blends well with the whole TikTok crowd. I put some reviews up there, building social proof. If you guys scroll down a little bit more too, you'll see my offer. So I have the buy one, get one free for about 38 bucks or a three pack for 56. And you can see the variants and all that are in there. Looks really good, really clean, really simple. It's gonna cost me about $12 to buy and ship out two of these sticky bra inserts. So my margins, they're not amazing, but they're pretty good. If we scroll down through the description, you can see it's very simple. I just threw a tiny little description, a GIF in there. You can see at the bottom, I have the sticky add to cart. That is huge. Again, this theme is just really good. You can see here I have this cool little table that says why us and kind of shows what you get with our brand versus others. My favorite part is the before and after slider. So you guys can see if I slide left and right, you can see a very clear before and after. This just builds so much validity in my website that this is a real brand. It's a good looking website. It's a, it just looks really, really good. And I think it came out really well. If we go to the testimonials, same thing, just have some testimonials with some names and some reviews. And it just shows a clear before and after of what you can expect to get with the product after you buy it. And I just think it came out so good. And at the bottom we have the FAQs, and then of course imported some reviews. Now you can see, it's pretty simple, but I think it looks really, really good. 
Honestly, I'm feeling very, very confident with this, with this product and this landing page. I have a feeling this is gonna convert very well. So that is the landing page. Now the next step is we have to go get the ads and then launch the ads and then hopefully we will get some sales. It is now time to go get some ads created and boost those. Now let's go make some ads. All right, y'all, now it is time to get the ads locked in. In case you didn't realize this already, in my opinion, ads are the most important part of this process. This is the first time your future customer is going to see your product, your page, everything. This ad is the bridge from the social media site to your website. For all of my ads, for every store I use, I use viral e-com ads. They did help out with this video, but I've used them even before this, and I've used them almost every time I've created a store. So if we hop on their website here, you guys will see it's very straightforward. Biggest thing that you guys are gonna go to is packages. They have all different types of packages. For this video and for my purposes, only thing I've ever had to use is the video ad packages. So if we click on those, you'll see you have a couple different options. You have Facebook split testing packages, you have a Facebook video ad, and then you have a TikTok split testing package. When you place an order for the product you're gonna use, depending on what you choose, they will give you back multiple variations of the same ad. So for example, if we were to click on the TikTok split testing package, which is what I'm gonna use for this video, I will get three ad variations for the one product I sent in. If you actually wanna make some sales and run a successful store for longer than two days, you have to have a bunch of different ad variations, which is why this is very nice. For this one, I'm going to be using the TikTok ad split testing one. It's 50 bucks. You get three videos for one product. Very good. And it's super, super easy. Literally all you do, you buy the package for 50 bucks, put the AliExpress link to the product that you want them to make the ads for. And literally within a day or two, you'll get your ads back. And to show you these guys are legit, I'm going to show you an ad that they actually made for this store for this video. Get ready to enhance your confidence with TikTok's viral ultra lift inserts. Designed for small chested women, these pads offer a natural push-up effect that's undetectable under your clothes. Experience the lift and padding without any residue, thanks to their strong adhesive. Say goodbye to sagging or uneven breasts and hello to natural looking curves. Get yours today and strut your stuff with confidence. Professional, simple, it shows real people using the product. It's not some like Chinese made manufactured video. Their ads are very, very good. I highly recommend viral ecom ads. And I will leave the first link in the description if you wanna use these guys. If you use my link, you get 15% off, so you can save yourself some money if you wanna give them a try. So let's go launch these puppies and let's get after this thing. All right, y'all, I just cooked up some TikTok ads. Honestly, this part of the process is really not that difficult. A lot of people overthink it. Once you have good creatives, it's pretty easy to make ads. My kind of testing strategy is super easy. I just do one CBO, so campaign budget optimization with all three of my ads with very, very broad targeting. I literally only just click women. Everything else, I let TikTok and its AI and its algorithm kind of decide who they're gonna show my video to. And just because I'm confident in my product and my website, I would usually start the CBO budget at about 75 bucks, but because we only have three days hit a thousand, I'm just gonna send it and start it at $150. So after the CBO, I'm also gonna be running one ABO. And within the ABO, I'm giving each ad copy a $50 budget just to kind of get a better, more clear idea of what actual ad creative works and is working well. So that is my very simple testing strategy. I have them set to go live tomorrow, Tuesday at 8 a.m. I'm gonna wake up and then usually around 10 to 11 a.m. I can kind of see what ads are performing well, which ones aren't performing well, boost the budget on some, and then remove the budget on others or shut them off. So. I got them set up, they are live and ready to go for tomorrow morning. But yeah, at this point, most of the hard work is done. We just have to let the ads go live tomorrow and then hopefully they are profitable and then the money printer has started. So I will see you guys tomorrow with an update of day one and hopefully we wake up to some sales. All right, y'all, so a little midday update. We are absolutely crushing. If we look at the numbers here, you can see it is 445 and we are at 10 orders, almost $409 in sales. So we are legit almost halfway to the goal and it's not even five o'clock yet on day one. So it's looking good here, but what's more important is the ads and kind of how that's going. So let's take a dive into that. If we look, our campaigns are doing decent. Um, I've had to shut off some and add some, but you can see we have 
five and five for a total of 10 conversions. Our CPA right now is 22, which is decent. I just kind of peeked at these two. And what I'm going to do is go into my first ABO. So this ad group right now is absolutely crushing. It has a $12 CPA, really good click through rate, amazing CPM, cost per click, everything. So currently right now, it is spending $100. We are gonna double it. So instead of 100, we're gonna go 200, lock it in, and boom. So we just doubled that. So hopefully that will boost some sales. And then if we go back to the campaign, my first CBO, it's doing decent, not amazing. $19 CPA, 1.3 click through rate, decent CPM, decent cost per click. So I'm gonna let that one just hang out for a while but we just bumped the first ABO. So hopefully we get some more sales. So those are kind of some of the metrics behind day one. Um, so far, pretty good. Just bumped the budgets a little bit. So hopefully we get some more sales. We'll check back in a little bit though. Alrighty y'all, it is officially the end of day one. I just got back from dinner and I went to go check my computer and kind of check on the store. We're low key popping right now. It's looking really, really, really good. So I'm gonna screen record my screen, kind of go over the back end of things. I'm gonna go over my ads really quick for day one, the Shopify store. So first things first, if we refresh the page, you guys will see that today we are at 16 orders and that equates to about $655 worth of sales. So obviously we are having an amazing first day today. Um, honestly, I did not expect it to go this well. I knew that my product was probably pretty good, especially with my website. But to be honest, I didn't think it was gonna perform this well. So that's a great first day. You can see we have one live person on the site right now. And yeah, so that is kind of the Shopify things. Now, if we go check out the actual ads manager behind everything, there's a couple things I wanna show you. So let's refresh this really quick. First things first, you could see the two ads that I started, they did decent, um, but Usually when you're first starting a store, at least for me, the first day is never as profitable because I'm testing a couple different ads and kind of after day one, I see what's good and what wasn't. And then I can scale the good ones and completely shut off the bad ones. So if we look first things first, this CBO right here, uh, we spent $138. It'll probably still spend, it's only 940. So we might get a couple more sales, but um, it'll probably spend, you know, another 10 to $12 and, and totally spend its total budget for the day. But for right now, you could see the CPC is pretty good at 55 cents. The CPM's decent, 735. You can see we had a 1.3% click-through rate, and then we had seven conversions for a CPA of $19, just under 20 bucks. So honestly, not awful for the first day, pretty good. After shipping and everything, my product sells for about $41 total. So that's a decent margin with what it costs to ship it out. Um, now, if we go to the ABO, this is the one that I'm pretty excited at. If you look at it from the outside, it looks a little bit worse, but if we go inside the ABO, kind of campaign folder, you will see that none of these perform very well. I shut off almost all of them except for one. And if we go to the one that worked, and this is the one that I actually was scaling up a little bit earlier, you will see we only spent $113. Our cost per click was amazing. Our CPM was amazing. Our click-through rate was very good for, for these metrics. And we had eight conversions for a CPA of $14. So that ad absolutely destroyed. And then you can see this one had one conversion, but kind of fizzled out, so I shut it off. So honestly, not a bad first day. My strategy for day number two is I'm just gonna leave those two on that were working well. And then I'm also gonna go and I'm going to duplicate the CBO and that specific ad group in the ABO that worked well. That's gonna be the end of day one. One. Again, this is going very well. Usually it don't go this well this quickly, but I'm pumped. And uh, yeah, let's try to run this puppy up tomorrow. All right, it is the end of day two, and today was another banger day. Now, it's actually super late. It's midnight right now, so technically we have started day three, but we are gonna go over the results of day two and then explain the game plan for the last day tomorrow. So if we pull up the Shopify dashboard, for all the haters out there who are gonna say it's fake, we'll show you. It just started the new day, so there's no sales, only four sessions, but if we go to yesterday, you guys can see that we did $611 worth of sales again today. So that's back-to-back -back $600 days. We had a little bit less orders today, but our order volume was a lot higher. We had quite a few bundle orders where they bought three of the boob inserts instead of two. And so that definitely helped our, our profit margins, our revenue, it kind of helped everything. So that was solid. Um, but you can see we did 14 orders and we did $611 of sales. 
that's an amazing day. I'm super pumped. Honestly, this is by far the best start to a store I have ever had. And we're fired up. And also this means we hit our goal. We hit $1,000 in less than three days. And actually we didn't just hit our goal. We have absolutely destroyed it. Now, tomorrow I will break down the profits of everything the past couple days. And now this leads me into day three in the goal and the strategy. Now, y'all know me. I like to take a risk here and there and I like to absolutely send it. And so tomorrow we are going to go big. So I just made two more fresh campaigns with a $150 budget in each of those. So tomorrow we will have three CBOs running at a $150 budget in each one to start. If they show signs of life early and show good metrics, I'm planning on bumping those throughout the day to really get this going. Tomorrow, I'm planning on sending it. My goal to blow this challenge out of the water is I wanna do $1,000 in a single day. I feel a little nervous about trying to scale this quickly and this could destroy the profit margins, but also it could blow us up. And you know me, we go big or we go home. So tomorrow we are gonna absolutely go crazy. I will hit you guys up with an update. I'm nervous. Shopify, drop shipping gods, hook me up tomorrow with a big 1K day and hopefully a whole lot of profit. I will see you guys in the morning with the update. Hopefully we wake up tomorrow morning with a whole lot of sales, baby. Let's go. All right, y'all, it is a midday update on the last day, road to $1,000 in a day. We're low key crushing right now, let's check it out. If we actually look at the Shopify dashboard right now, we have 17 orders and we've done $734 in sales. And it's only 1.50, it's not even 2 p.m. So we're looking really good. If we go and we look at the ads, decent. A lot of them are running good except for one. So this CBO3 right here, it's starting to get unprofitable. So I am gonna shut that one off. And then I, just because we are gonna absolutely send it and try to get to the thousand dollars in a day, I'm gonna bump the campaigns of the other ones just because I'm feeling myself. So we are going to double this one to 300. That one has been doubled. I'm probably gonna leave this one just because it's not doing as well. So I'm just gonna leave that one be. And then we're gonna go to this ABO and we're gonna bump this puppy up. This one is absolutely crushing. Our CPA is $7. So we're gonna go to this one and instead of the 100, we're gonna bump it to 200 and boom, we are locked in. So I think we're gonna lock in the thousand dollar days, maybe more, maybe we'll bump them again if we keep getting more sales, but we'll see. I'll check up with you guys later this afternoon. And hopefully next time we check up, we'll have that thousand dollar day, baby. It just passed midnight and the three day challenge is officially over. Now, as you guys have seen, we smashed that $1,000 goal for the entire three day challenge. But with that, we set a new goal. And the goal today was, could we hit $1,000 worth of sales in one single day? We were on a high trajectory. And the last time we spoke, I turned off some of the lower performing ad budgets and I risked it for the biscuit. I bumped up the ad campaigns and I potentially threatened our profit margins by trying to hit that $1,000 day and I think I blew it. I think I blew the challenge. Honestly, it was almost going too well. It was going too smooth. I think your boy messed it up. Now, if we pull up the Shopify dashboard, you guys will see that today, it just passed midnight, so it's technically yesterday, but you guys will see that today, we did 22 orders for a total of $939 worth of sales. Now, honestly, I thought we had this in the bag. Last time we checked, my conversion rate was at like 3%. We were at like $800 of sales by like 2 p.m. I genuinely thought we had it in the bag, but your boy, I think I got a little ahead of myself. I don't know why towards the end of the day, my conversion rate went downhill. Unfortunately, what I do know is that because I bumped the ad budgets and sales did not follow that action, that ate up into our profit margin quite a bit. But now is the important part. Now we are going to see if we actually made money. If we go into our true profit dashboard here, you guys will see that today, this is bad. This is honestly not good. Again, I'm transparent. I show you the ups. I show you the downs. Today, we did $939 worth of revenue and we only made $68 worth of profit. Now, that was a 7% profit margin. That's awful. That's horrible. To be honest with you, before I bumped the ad budgets today, I was at like a 30% profit margin and I was around $300 worth of profit around 2 to 3 p.m. It's a little frustrating. It's a little annoying, but I, I did say I'm going to risk it for the business 
risk it and I could potentially try to scale too fast and blow up this whole challenge. I did say that. So unfortunately I might've manifested that. But today was the worst day though. Let's go back through this week and see how much money we made this week. So, and we go this entire week, Monday through Friday, you guys will see that we did $352 worth of profit and we operated at around a 15% profit margin. Not amazing, it's not the craziest thing, but it's still pretty insane that we generated $2,282 worth of revenue in just three days, and I made $350 pretty passively. If this doesn't show you that this is still possible, I don't know what will. I'm not an expert at drop shipping. I'm still very new at it, I genuinely, honestly just make stores for YouTube videos to kind of have fun and, and challenge myself. And if I can do it and do this, I'm sure if you guys put some time and effort into it, you could probably do it too. So that is gonna be all for this video. If you guys made it this far, remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I seriously appreciate all the support. I'm trying to bang out videos for you guys and your support does mean a lot. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to make it out the hood. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.